Hello and welcome to Enjoy English School. 欢迎来到 Enjoy 英语学院 I'm Stevie and I'm Lori. Today and tomorrow, we are looking at our business English lesson, where we're going to look at two dialogues, day one and day two. Now, today's dialogue is the topic is called planning negotiations. Now, whenever you do any kind of business, whether it be sales or if you're trying to get somebody to make something for you, you are going to have to negotiate. And this is a great word and a great phrase to know, and you will use it in all kinds of things. Hmm. So, we have come to the business English unit. So, today and tomorrow, we will see the conversation. The conversation title is "Business Negotiations." So, we just talked about "negotiations." When we talked about "negotiations," we talked about "negotiations." When we talked about "negotiations," we talked about "negotiations." When we talked about "negotiations," we talked about "negotiations." When we talked about "negotiations," we talked about "negotiations." When we talked about "negotiations," we talked about "negotiations." When we talked about "negotiations," we talked about "negotiations." When we talked about "negotiations," we talked Yep. Almost no matter what you do,、mm. you're going to need to learn to negotiate. Actually, going to the night market. Hmm. You know, 跟人家杀价。对。That's also a type of negotiating. 也是协商的一种。Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 杀价啊。Oh. All right. Let's take a look at our article. Okay. Looking at day one, the first part of our article, we have Anita and Jeremy. Are discussing how they will negotiate with an ad company. So Anita and Jeremy are discussing. They're talking about how they will negotiate. Maybe how or what their plan is, what they want to do with an ad company. Now, ad is 一个缩写。对。Okay. It's short for advertisement. Advertisement. They do all kinds of like guanggao.、Mm. You know,、uh, an ad company could do ads on TV, on radio,、um, in a newspaper,、uh, online, all kinds of things. 没错。所以呢，一开始我们来看到今天对话它情境的设定呢，是 Anita 跟 Jeremy 呢，他们两个人正在讨论他们要如何的来跟一家广告公司进行协商啊、哦。所以你看到这边的 negotiate， 它是一个动词，你后面呢跟谁协商，你会加一个 with， 然后再加那个对象啊、哦。那他们协商的对象是一家广告公司，这里的 ad 是整个 advertisement 的缩写。刚刚 Steve 老师已经有讲了啊。哦 mm-hmm. 那么，所以呢，我们来看看他们两个怎么讨论。And if you want to learn advertisement, it's a d v e r t i s e m e n t advertisement. All right. So Anita says, Jeremy, what did you find out about Crown Digital? Okay, what did you find out? This means he's already been doing something. 对。Right.、Mm. Uh, so, what what did you find out means what what information did you learn? And so now this tells us that they have been maybe Jeremy. He was supposed to be looking at information about Crown Digital. He was trying to learn about them before. 没，没错。So what did you find out about this company? 嗯，所以呢，显然他们的分工呢 ，Jeremy 是负责在搜查资料的。所以 Anita 就问他了，他说 ，Jeremy， 你呢，在对于这个呃，我们可以直译翻成 Crown Digital 的话，翻成王冠数位公司，你找到了他什么的资讯呢？啊、哦，你找到有什么关于他的资讯吗 ？So Jeremy, actually, Jeremy sounds like an advertisement here. Uh huh. Right. He says Crown Digital produces high-quality online advertisements. All right. So, produce. This is a very formal word. If you are writing something,、mm-hmm. then you would say produce. If I, if I'm just talking to Lori, I might say, "Oh, they make." Okay. 对。Uh, but this is very proper formal English. They make or they produce high-quality 
Online advertisements. 嗯，所以呢 ，Jeremy 就回答 Anita， 他说：“首先就讲到王冠数位公司啊，他们呢是在制作这个高品质的线上广告啊、哦。所以这里的 producers 的话呢，刚刚呢，呃 ，Steve 老师也提到，你写的时候比较正式，你用这个字。那其实，在讲话的话，你也可以用 make， 都是指制作的意思，制制作这个呃线上的广告。嗯哼，嗯。Now high quality.” Means like 高品质 right? But it also represents something else. Usually, high cost. Ah,、oh, right. Usually, 对、嗯、um, you get what you pay for. <laughs> right. 对，你呢？这个基本上付出多少就可以得到多少，所以你要高品质的，很可能也是高价格的。Yeah. 嗯、uh, ，you get what you pay for. In Chinese, you have an idiom. 嗯。一分钱啊， uh, 一分货，一分货，是、yeah. 对。Uh, you get what you pay for. That's a good idiom to learn.、Mm. Um, then he says, "It the company also provides digital video, audio, and web design services." So it also provides. Again, if I'm just having a friendly conversation with Lori, I might say they also do. Hmm. 这样也可以。You know, yeah, they also do digital video, audio, and web design services. So they'll make videos for you, and they'll record audio for you, and they will also design your website. 嗯，所以呢，接下来他继续讲关于这间公司。他说他们呢、啊，啊、哦，这个这家公司呢，他也提供哦，所以这里的 provides 一样，在写作上比较正式，你用这个动词啊、哦，他们提供。那但是其实刚刚 Steve 老师有讲到，你也可以用 do 啊、哦，就是他们也做这个这个服务这个项目这样的意思啊、哦。所以他们呢，啊、哦，这家公司他也提供这个数位的录影啊、哦，然后录音。还有呢，这个网络的设计的服务。So you know, I just said to make something, to do something. This is how Lori and I would talk. If you're going to do a presentation, use the formal English. 对，如果当你要在做简报的情况下，那就不一样，所以你就要用比较正式的字啊、mm-hmm. 哦。所以就是像里头我们用到的这个 produce 或者是 provide 这样的字。Yeah. 嗯。Uh, so now he continues. It. And again, this is Crown Digital. It's only a small company, but it has produced advertisements for many famous products and international companies. So he's saying this company—it's a small company. It's not a big company, but they have produced. They have—we could say they have made advertisements, or they have done. Because this is now the past. Yes. So do. The past tense of do, they have done、uh, advertisements for a lot of famous products and in international companies. 没错，所以接下来呢，他讲到说，哦，他呢只是家小公司，但是他已经。帮这个很多知名的产品，还有呢国际公司来这个制作广告了啊、哦。那么这里的话，刚刚有提到说 has produced 啊、哦，或者你要用 has made has done 啊、哦， mm-hmm. 就用一个 has 加上 pp 过去分词啊、哦。那么呢，表示他已经有做了啊、哦，这些广告是为了知名的产品跟国际公司，所以很厉害。Yes, Crown Digital's CEO Mr. Morris. Is said to have creative ideas and a good understanding of the market. That is the next line in the in the conversation. So he's giving more information. Crown Digital's CEO, who is the CEO of their company, Mr. Morris, and is said to. Now this, I will say, students is is very formal. And not really used in speech. This is used way too often in Taiwan. Oh, it is said that that's really weird to say that in in even in a presentation.、Uh, we would probably say, you know, I've heard Mr. Mr. Morris, Crown Digital CEO,、uh, has creative ideas and a good understanding of the market. So I've heard this, or people have told me this, but students try to stay away from. It is said that that is actually proper English, but we just never use it. It's very formal written English. 
but I know it's taught here a lot. <laughs> so um, I want to tell you it's proper English, but you could say uh, I've heard that he has creative ideas and a good understanding of the market or people have told me, people have said that. But saying it is said that, it's just not used anymore. Okay. 所以呢，这边的话，我们看到他讲到说呢，这个呃，王冠数位的执行长啊、哦、，CEO， 然后是谁呢 ？Mr. Morris 在一个逗点，然后呢，被说是啊、哦，这个对于市场呢，他有着很好的创意，而且呢，对于市场有着很深入的了解，很好的一个呃认知啊、哦。那么呢，刚刚 Steve 老师提醒大家的是说呢，这里的 is said 啊、哦，你可以换成另外的说法，可能是 I've heard， 或者是 people。Have told me 啊、uh, mm-hmm. ，这种这样子的一个说法，那现在已经比较少人用这个 is said 这样子的用法。Yeah, just by itself, 嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，Yeah， 很少。嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，OK， 所以你这边的话，你可以有其他的选择的啊。Uh. Right now, Anita says, "Great work." So, uh, how should we prepare for the negotiations?、Mm. <laughs> This is funny. You did all the work so far. Great work. Now, how do we continue? 所以这个 Anita 哈，她这个感觉把工作目前都都交交给 Jeremy 啊<笑>，所以她首先先说做的非常好啊。那因为你这个呃，所有的这个资讯查的很好，然后所以那我们应该怎么来准备这个协商呢？我们应该要如何来准备进行呢？啊，就继续问他。So Jeremy says, "Ah,、uh, we must come up with a strategy to achieve our goal. A strategy in this case means a plan." Mm. And to achieve a goal,、uh, just means to well to carry ma- out to carry out and to make your goal a, a reality. Hmm, 没错 To make your goal come true, your wish come true. That's a little different, but、uh, so yeah. Well, we have to come up with a plan to. To get to our goal. Hmm. So Jeremy, he just answered him. He said, "We must come up with come up with, is to think out the idea. Think out a strategy to reach our goal." That's it. And then he says, "You can handle the matters related to money. So you handle the money stuff,、mm-hmm. and I'll search for other information that we might need. I'll look for other info that we will need." 嗯哼，然后呢，他还直接就来分工了啊。他说：“你呢，可以处理跟财务相关的事物。这里的 matters 是事物的意思，然后 related to 是指跟什么相关啊？跟钱相关的，就是跟财务相关的，你处理。那么我来这个搜寻其他我们可能会需要的更多的资讯。” Okay, we'll take a quick break right here, and we'll be right back with the last part of our dialogue. Okay, looking at the second part,、uh, Anita starts out saying, "I can also work on building a good relationship with Crown Digital because in the last sentence, Jeremy said we need to come up with a plan, and you handle money, and I'll look for info." And she says, "Oh, I can also work on our on building our relationship with that company." Hmm. So Anita 呢，她想到她还可以做一件事，所以她说，我也可以帮忙跟这个王冠数位公司来建立一个友好的啊、哦、良好的关系。And now Jeremy says something that should be obvious. Hmm. This should be very very basic, very ordinary. Yes. He says, "Okay." Uh, you know, you work on the relationship, but avoid discussing sensitive topics such as religion and politics.、Mm. So, okay, you work on our relationship, but don't talk about religion and don't talk about politics. Those are sensitive subjects. 没错，所以呢，这时候 Jeremy 说 ，OK， 哦、oh, ，你去建立这个良好的关系，但是呢，要避免讨论 ，avoid 是避免的意思，避免讨论一些很敏感的这个话题，像是信仰，好，跟这个政治。And Anita says, Ah,、oh, don't worry, I'll work hard to build a friendly atmosphere. So I'll. Yeah, don't worry. I'll work hard to, you know, be really friendly and make things feel good. 
<笑>所以呢，呃，妮塔他就说别担心，我呢会 work hard， 我会努力的 to build 来建立 a friendly atmosphere， 就是一个友好的氛围。Yeah, an atmosphere can mean a lot of things. Like it can mean like 气氛，对 ，and it can also mean like the air that we breathe. 嗯，就是我们说的大气啊、哦，或大气层的意思。呃、uh, ，so now Jeremy says, "Shall I arrange to have eight seats around the conference table with a fruit bowl and some bottles of water for everyone?" So should I arrange? To arrange just means you want to. Well, you could schedule it, or、uh, this just means you're going to fix it so this happens. Just 安排好，没错。Right? I'm going to all. I'll, should I arrange to have eight chairs, eight seats around the conference table? And then he wants to make it nice. So he says,、uh, "With a fruit bowl, a big bowl of fruit, and some bottles of water for everyone." 嗯，所以呢，这里 Jeremy 就问 Anita， 他说 ：“Shall I？ 哦、oh, ，Shall I 的话就是我是否应该，我应该怎么样呢 ？Arrange 安排来呢？”这个有啊、uh, ，have to have 有什么呢？安排有这个八张的椅子呢，是在会议桌的周围。然后呢，带着一碗这个水果，哈，还有几瓶给每个人的水呢。Anita says, "Good idea. Let's get together before the meeting and spend some time going over our plan." So good, I okay. That's a good idea. Before the meeting, we'll get together and spend some time going over our plan. That means we're going to look at our plan again and going over something.、Uh, kind of also means you're going to review it. Hmm. 没错 Okay. Review. R e v i e w. Review. 没错，所以呢，呃，妮塔她首先说这个好主意啊、哦，你这个这个想的这个是很好的一个点子。然后接着呢，他说让我们啊、哦，在这个会议之前先聚聚 ，get together， 先聚在一块儿。然后呢 ，spend some time， 花一点时间呢，来 going over our plan， 来把我们的计划呢仔细的看过，好好的检查。所以也等于刚刚 Steve 老师说的 review。We can also decide what our goals for the negotiations should be. So we can also decide. We can figure out what to do and what our goal is. What is our mission for this? For our negotiations, what's our plan? 嗯，所以他说我们也可以呢，同时来决定呢，我们的这一场这个协商，它应该要有的一个目标是什么 ？And so now, Jeremy says. Here are the notes about the company that I wrote down. So he, you know, he's been doing, he's been learning all the info about the company. Here are my notes. Read them. Check them out. 嗯，所以呢，这个 Jeremy 很细心啊、哦。他说呢，来，这个是我呢对于这家公司所写下来的一些笔记。You can get familiar with them before the meeting. You can get familiar, like you can understand them. Maybe understand the company a bit more by looking at my notes. 对，然后呢，你可以呢，在会议之前把他们看熟啊。Uh, get familiar 是跟什么东西变熟悉。那么 with 后面是你那个变熟悉的对象，所以 with them 就是这些 notes， 我的这些笔记，你呢会议前把它看熟，这样子。And Anita says, "Great, thanks." 嗯，这 Anita 就说太棒了，谢谢哦。Now to find out. How the negotiation went? You're gonna have to wait till tomorrow, but I will be right back with a quick review of our vocabulary and phrases today. Okay, looking at our vocabulary words, we have a few that are really good to know in everyday life. Negotiate. You know, when you want to negotiate something, you have to sajja, you have to negotiate. Uh, also, to have a good understanding of something, if you want to understand something, you should have a good understanding. You understand it well. Also, we talked about the word creative.、Uh, it's always good to be creative, and to have a strategy, to have a plan. Number five was achieve. We learned the word achieve to accomplish something, to achieve your goals, and we learned don't don't talk politics. If you're going to be talking business, not a good idea. Don't talk politics. 
We also learned the word atmosphere, and atmosphere could be many things.、Uh, but we always, you always want to like, especially if you're going to dinner on a date or something, you want to have a nice romantic atmosphere,、mm. right?、Uh, and we talked about go over something, to review it, to go over it, to look at it again. So those are some of our words and vocabulary from today. We will be learning more tomorrow and find out what happens. We'll see you then. Bye bye.